Okay, I had a request <clears throat> for the Space Wiser. Both these say Space Wiser on it. They're two different bodies and head styles. Similar boxes, similar functions apparently. Um, don't really know the year for sure other than the fact that this one was sold by KB Toys and there haven't been a KB Toys in a long, long time. Some of you may know the actual year. I've checked the box. I didn't see any dates on the boxes. Um, has both kind of a broken English description of how to operate the toy on this side which you can freeze and read and here it's got some information and battery requirements I should have brought out some more AA batteries and then uh, more of a descriptions there IQ Master Space Wiser Second yeah. Have so many of these disc shooters that there are probably more of these out here. But these two just happen to be sitting next to each other. So when I saw them, I went, Oh, I had a request for that. Let's see if this one says uh, second anywhere. This one says second, just says second, and then there's two, and this one doesn't. So this one may very well be the first of the Space Wiser Super Robots. This box has never been opened. It's still factory tape shield and the robot is in fact uh, still got a wire tie around the, the waist. So, what's it say? Um, dollars and deals. I don't even know what a dollars and deals store is, but that's where I picked that one up at. See if there's anything of information other than being made in China and showing where the batteries go on the bottom. Get the viewfinder so I can see what I'm pointing at. So you got kind of the uh, broken English description on how everything works there. Well, let's open one of these up. And if it takes too long, we'll turn this into two videos. So let's start with this one that's completely sealed. Let's move the camera back enough so I know stuff is staying in frame. Cut the tape. So many disc shooters out here. I was almost afraid to even start showing the disc shooter because then I knew I'd be doing it for weeks. And I didn't want to have to do it for weeks. Okay. These are heavy duty twist ties on this guy. Don't normally see them that uh, heavy duty. He's got a heavy duty feel to it also. Okay, the robot will be just about free. Here's the robot, little plastic insert, looks like a another booklet. It's got the infrared instructions, talks about the battery placement. Strange green paper. I don't know if there's anything there you guys want to look at, but there might be. Okay. I'm not going to bother to read them, which means I won't know how to work it. Which means I'll be just like every kid out there and just try to figure it out on the fly. Kind of fold it up a little bit neater than it was before, but I'm failing. 
Here's the remote. It's an infrared remote. Let's open it up and uh, start the phone, right? And that's going to take two double A's for that. I have no idea which bag is the good double A's. So we've got two bags here. And which bag is the crappy double A's? I have a whole container of brand new double A's in the house. And I was trying to remember to bring them out when I came out here. But I failed. Okay. Let's uh, put the battery cover on that. Take a look at the robot. Looks like the uh, foam frisbees are already in the head. Looks like the batteries go in the back. Nothing on the back except saying made in China. On off switches in the back. some batteries from the other bag. I know this Thunderbolt is one of the newer ones, so I know that should be good. But the rest of these, I really don't know. It's hard to tell until you put a load on them what they're going to do. So let's leave the back battery door off in case I need to swap some out. So I flipped the switch to on. Well, maybe have to read the instructions because I don't just hit the button Hi, on the front. My name is Mike. Hey Mike. I have great abilities. I walk. Shoot frisbees. And I can teach you to dance. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get him to walk or anything. Okay, that motor runs. I'm not sure if both feet are running or just one. I'm not sure that that one's running. I'm going to take a look at these wheels when I push the button. I've got one motor running. You yeah, haven't seen any action on this one yet. So that motor... There we go. Now we got both motors running. That's better. Let's try one of these being forward by any chance. Here's Dan. Let's dance together. It's fun. Can't go that way, Mike. Try some of these other buttons. What's this one? It says slide. Let me teach you a new dance. Uh oh. It's another dance. I was hoping that meant the robot would slide. Well, what if I just hit one of these other buttons? No, that didn't do anything. Unless it was just doing it right then. Let's try that again. It's a W. Okay. So that must be like walk forward, and that's walk backward. You know, first one to push was that one, then that one. So this must be like slide forward. Yep. And slide backward. Okay, we got all those functions working. Now we got all these buttons up here we haven't tried yet. I always just push to this one. Let's push this one over here. Okay. Well, that's the head. All right, so. Ready? Shoot. So I'd say the uh, shooting motor 
is going to need to be jostled because I didn't hear it rev up and it's supposed to rev up when you when you hit this button. I doubt that I can see any of the uh, mechanics if I take these foam discs out, but you never know. Because it won't take much to bump the shaft of the motor probably to get it going after having sat dormant for so many years of not being used. Can't really get that last one out of there. Come on, babe. Come on. Here we go. Alright, now. Can I see the motor anywhere? A bit of the shaft? Anything? No. Oh shoot! Some hot glue down in there. Just trying to get any sort of a view of the motor so I might be able to nudge it. But I'm not seeing that as a possibility. Now there are little teeny screws all around the head. I don't know how you would get to that with the head on the body. It almost looks like you'd have to separate the body and take the head off the body before you could take the top off the head to get into that motor. So that's why you kind of hope that sometimes tapping on them. heard something. I heard something. Let's put some discs in there. there might be two motors or it could be the reverse motor. I think I should still be hearing the one motor rev up to speed and then this one which shoves the disc into the spinning part of the motor is working. So, uh -oh. this, is not ready. so this part is working but I haven't got the spinning, the fast spinning part to uh, cooperate yet. Well, may have to do a part two on this.